Hello, my name's Robert. I am 20 years old, currently in college. Was going to major in mathematics, but changed to criminal justice. Uh, recently, I came across a picture on Facebook called The Math Test. And there's a lot of argument going on on this picture. I'm sure you're familiar with it if you're watching this. It looks a little bit like this, where it says Math Test, and, and then it gives you two possible answers. You've got zero, which if you believe that is the answer, you'll like it. And if you believe the answer is 13, you share. At the moment, there are 12,686 people who believe that the answer is zero. Then we have 545 shares, meaning that's how many people believe the answer is 13. Then below that are a little over 1,300 comments with people having their own belief as to what the answer is. We've got Timothy who believes it's teen, we've got Sina believes it's right, where is she? Yeah. Okay, we got Emily who believes it's five. Uh, basically we've just got a lot of people who are getting a lot of different answers. So I have the equation reproduced in front of me, and I hope to show you how to get the correct answer. Now, as you can see, I have two separate calculators. We've got a basic calculator you could buy at the dollar store for a dollar, and then we've got what is called a TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. These go for about 80 to 120 dollars. I wouldn't suggest buying it for 120, but this is as you can see, definitely a more complicated and advanced cal calculator. Now, <coughs> I'm just going to show you that one of these calculators, or both of these calculators, give different answers, depending on how you do it. Let's put it that way. I will start with the basic calculator, which, as you know, you have to put it in one at a time. So we've got one plus one plus one, it just keeps going. And in the equation, there are 10 ones before you come to the subtraction sign. So that's when you subtract the one, and then you go on adding five more ones. So one plus one plus one, and it keeps going until you get to that 15. There are 16 total. We subtracted one. Then you multiply it by zero. As, as I'm sure most of you know, anything multiplied by zero is going to be zero. Well, even though that is correct, anything times zero is zero, not going into more complicated math, this is not the correct answer. Now let's go to my TI-84, which is all easier to use. You can go and put several operations all at once, and the calculator will do all of it for you. So, oops, syntax error. We've got 10 ones. And bringing that back down, then we have the subtraction. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, and then we have one more plus, and then the multipli multiplying to zero. If I put this in correctly, it should come out as 13, which you can see right there. Now, Two, two calculators, two answers. Just because this is more expensive, most people are just going to say, yeah, Texas Instruments TID 4 Plus is going to be correct. Well, because of how, for lack of a better term, ignorant people are being with their comments, I'm going to explain why this is correct and why this is not. Like I said before, with the TI-84 Plus, you can put in several operations and it would compute all of it together. Whereas with the basic calculator, you get to have the honor of putting each of them in one at a time. One addition, one subtraction, one multiplication, one addition. You don't see it lined up like you do in the TI-84. The reason the TI-84 got a different answer is because it accounts for human error. In order for a calculator to work, since people believe that calculators are always right, in order for a calculator to work, the operator, aka me, needs to know what he's doing, or she, or it, whatever you want to call yourself. So, 
in order to put the equation in correctly for this, I would actually have to start with the zero. Well, there's really no easy way to using a calculator like this when it comes to extended uh, equations. You would have to use paper as well, knowing that multiplying zero would cancel out this last one. Not the entire equation, not half the equation, just this one, the last one. So for now, I'm going to simplify this into one. And then we've got the five, one, the five other ones, well, correction, four other ones, and then subtraction. In fact, let's do that right now. Even though this might complicate it a little bit for some of you, we've got one, two, three, four additions. Then we have minus one, and then we have the 10. So right there, I have the entire equation simplified by one step. Well, several steps can bind into one step. So we've got 10 minus 1 plus 4 plus 0. Now, if this was the actual equation, and you put this into this equation, or into this calculator, then yes, you would get the correct answer. Minus 1 plus 4, 13. Now, the reason some of you are getting the zero as an answer is exactly what I showed you before, where you're doing it from left to right. You cannot do this because of order of operations, which seems like a good portion of you know. Oops. Oops. PEMDAS, or BOBNAS, PIMBOS, whatever you were uh, taught. It all means the same thing. Parentheses or P for parentheses, brackets, all the things that basically group numbers together. Exponents, raising things to certain powers, not going to get into that because it's not necessary. Then of course we have multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now before I continue more any further, I would like to show you guys something. Well, not so much show something, but explain something. In the world of math, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, they're grouped together. Same operation, same operation, simply reversed. Some people, well, obviously in elementary school, they try to keep things simple for us. So that's why they teach us just to go left to right. They're not going to explain PEMDAS to a little eight-year-old, although some people have learned it in second or third grade. I learned it in second and third grade. But unfortunately, math is slightly more complicated than that, hence the reason PEMDAS. With multiplication division, like I said, they don't need to be in any specific order. If we have the equation 8 times 4 divided by 3 times 9, you don't have to do multiplication, multiplication, then division. Although you, you could, and if I'm correct, that would be or correct anyways. But rather, you do it left to right. Same goes with addition. 4 plus 6 minus 9 plus 2. You don't have to do subtraction before addition or addition before subtraction. You just do it left to right. That being said, I have written down the whoops, the more common answers that have come out. Zero, I explained, you do not take the entire equation and multiply it by zero. You take the one times zero. That cancels out the one, and you're left with the remainder of the equation. Fifteen. Going back to the full equation, there are 16 total ones, not counting the operations in between them, and then the zero. In order to get 15, you would have to, I, I, this doesn't explain every single person, but this is how I understand how people are doing it to get 15, 16, and 5. They are taking, it to, taking that last one, understanding PEMDAS, and canceling it out, which leave you with 15 ones. They then do not notice the subtraction sign in the middle of the equation and therefore add up the 15 ones that get 15. Not correct. You can't ignore the subtraction sign and then with the 16 you can't ignore the zero. You can't just say, oh, there's a zero so it doesn't mean anything. So that's what they're doing. They're ignoring the zero, looking at the 16 ones, adding them up, ignoring the subtraction sign and getting 16. Not correct. Now five is a very interesting answer and I understand how they're getting it, they're simply doing their math wrong. They're taking 
set equation and basically using in PEMDAS the parentheses. There are no parentheses in the equation, therefore you should not assume any parentheses. I mean, I know some of you who learned PEMDAS believe, or were taught that when you see multiplication, division, put parentheses around that so that you do it first. Good way to learn it originally, but it can complicate things when you get to more advanced mathematics. But going back to what I said about the five, people are taking the first ten ones, adding them together, then subtracting, then taking the first, or the next part, ignoring the uh, one times zero because that comes out to zero, and then adding the last, uh, last five. So they're coming out with ten minus five plus zero. This, even though they believe they are following PEMDAS, they are not. Like I said before, addition and subtraction are the same operation in math, simply reversed. They have no importance or significance over each other. You just do them left to right and you will get the correct answer. Anyone who's anyone who knows math knows that 10 minus 5 is 5. You can do that on your hands, count using your fingers if you have to. But in this equation, you cannot simply choose which part of the equation you do first. You have to follow PEMDAS, multiplication, left to right, addition, and subtraction. So if you have a different answer besides these four, which were the most common that I found on the comments, feel free to message me or contact me in some way and give me your answer. Hopefully you have work to show. That's why teachers tell you to show work, even though it's annoying as hell. But whatever the case, if this is honestly that important to you, I can try to explain to you how you got your answer, what you did wrong, etc. But for the record, the answer is 13. And hopefully next time you see that picture on Facebook, 12,000 shares and 545 likes. But that is your math lesson for today, and hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.